The best poet, Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling, born Joseph Rudyard Kipling, was an English writer and poet who was born on December 30, 1865, in Bombay, British India, now Mumbai, India. He was the son of John Lockwood Kipling, an artist and teacher, and Alice Macdonald Kipling, a socialitan poet. Kipling spent his early years in India, which greatly influenced his later work. Start at the age of six, Kipling was sent to England to receive his education. He attended several boarding schools, where he faced a challenging and often a happy experience, marked by harsh discipline and bullying. Despite the difficulties, Kipling developed a love for literature and writing during this time. In 1882, at the age of 16. Kipling returned to India and worked as an assistant editor for a local newspaper in Lahore, now in Pakistan. He soon began writing fiction and poetry, drawing inspiration from his experiences in India and the people encountered there. Kipling's stories and poems often depict head landscapes, cultures, and characters of India. Kipling gained recognition and popularity for his writing. And his work started appearing in British magazines and publications. His breakthrough came with the publication of his collection of stories, Plain Tales from the Hills, in 1888. The book received critical acclaim and established his reputation as a talented writer. But in 1890, Kipling married Caroline Carey Ballester, an American woman, and they settled in the United States. They had three children together. During his time in the U.S., Kipling wrote some of his most famous works, including *The Jungle Book* (1894), a collection of stories set in the Indian jungle, and *Themen*, who would be king (1888), a novella. Kipling returned to England in 1896 and continued to write prolifically, exploring various themes such as imperialism, patriotism, and the complexities of human nature. He published novels, short stories, and poetry collections that gained him international acclaim. Kipling's writing often celebrated British imperialism and the British Empire's role in civilizing and ruling over other nations. This perspective has been a subject of criticism and controversy, particularly in the context of post-colonial studies. In 1907, Kipling became the first. English language writer to be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for his exceptional stordly abilities and his portrayal of the British Empire. The Nobel citation recognized his power of observation, originality of imagination, virility of ideas, and remarkable talent for narration. Throughout his life, Kipling traveled extensively, drawing inspiration from his journeys to countries such as South Africa, Australia. And New Zealand. He also actively supported British war efforts during World War One, and this writing during this period reflected his patriotic sentiments. Rudyard Kipling passed away on January 18, 1936, in London, England. His works continue to be studied and appreciated for their vivid storytelling, evocative descriptions, and exploration of colonial themes. Though his legacy has been subject to reassessment and critique, Kipling remains an important figure in English literature.